Jeeva Corajet. Hello, my friends. You're very welcome back to Pokemon Scarlet, episode two. So now that we're restarting the game uh, from already having a save file, this is what the game looks like when you reboot it. This uh, gorgeous little uh, image. <laughs> I don't know, but it's pretty, whatever it is. So let's uh, press A and get back into our game. I've been so excited to play this again. I absolutely adored playing the last episode and editing editing it and putting it together for you so I cannot wait to get into this now. Okay so here we are back on Poco Path where we wrapped up last time we caught a hot pip here we pretty much started the game last time we got our starter Fueco Fuecoco I'll, I'll learn how to say that properly and then we also caught a hot pip we caught a tarantula and we caught a lechonk i realized that i got into the game very quickly i was very eager to play last time um, didn't spend too much time on character customization i kind of wish i did now looking back i wish i spent more time um i think i missed a lot of items uh around the beach and stuff in the last episode so i might kind of either this episode or next episode retrace my steps a little bit and from what i understand you can actually Actually change what your character looks like a little bit later in the game so I'll do that later I just was so excited to get into the game I didn't want any of that waiting time at the beginning and um, I also never even had a look at our menu or what the menu looks like or anything like that yes yeah, so we have Fue Coco, Lechonk, Tarantula and Hopip I probably won't include any of these three in our team I don't know what our team is gonna look like yet um, but I don't know if I'll use any of these. I haven't really decided. I would like to use mostly new Pokemon, but then there's so many Pokemon I don't know, so I don't know who's new and who's not. Um, okay, so let's continue to explore this area. Let's catch some more Pokemon that we don't have. So let's go back down here. We might heal. We'll get Nemo Nimona to heal us. Okay, so let's go catch some more Pokemon. I know there is Fletchling. We spotted a Fletchling in the last episode, um, but I didn't catch it. It's getting used to this camera work too. Okay, so we've caught we've caught all of these things. There's items up there, but I don't know. Can we get up there? I think maybe there's a rock around here that maybe we can climb on. I'm not sure if we can get up there though. I don't know how to get up there. Maybe, oops, Lechonk, stay away. Um, maybe we unlock that later maybe I don't know I don't know we'll keep going for now um, I'm looking for Fletchling there was Fletchlings around here last time um, I realized I didn't even talk to these people either I was just completely in the game the power of science is amazing if you connect with friends you can head out on adventures together up to four of you at a time I mean I completely walked past this girl as well Welcome. This is Cabo Poco. It's not much, just a little pinch of community, but it's home. I really like this whole area. It's so pretty. Maybe we'll just, while we're here, before we continue catching Pokemon and continuing on Poco, Pobo, Poco Path or Pobo Path? I'm getting confused. I think it's Poco Path. Um, let's just have a quick look around our house. How, oh, there's an item up here. I just think this is so pretty. All the, um, the details are really, really pretty. And I feel like I did- Pokeball! I feel like I did not spend enough time looking at this stuff last time. I just love this garden so much. It's all so- I love the vegetables, I love the flowers, I just love everything. So let's just have a quick run around, see if there's any items or anything we miss. But really I'm just taking in all the details. Look at that wide ocean. Imagine that's the view to your back garden. Oh my god. Like, goals, am I right? <laughs> Vegetable garden- oh, here's an item. It's a potion. Okay. Washing hanging out. Well, I would imagine there's good drying in this weather. So that's pretty much it, I think. But I just wanted to take a proper look at all that. Let's head back here to the mansion. Um, I feel like we may have missed a few things. I kind of rushed through all this. Um, since this game is open world, it's kind of I have a not not a hard time with that because it's amazing, and I can't wait to like. Here's an item over here. I can't wait to fully explore it all, but I'm quite like, you know, in previous Pokemon games where you had like a route to follow, there was a path to follow, and there was like certain boxes to check. I really liked that where, you know, it's just, I suppose the way my brain likes to work, I like to tick boxes along the way to make sure I didn't forget anything. Oh, let's grab this. Another potion. Um, so, oh. 
antidote. Yeah, so I kind of am um, having a tricky time. It can be quite overwhelming with open world, but I'm trying not to look at it that way. I'm trying to just enjoy the opportunity, um, but I probably will end up missing stuff since this is my first like time playing through the game. This is most of our first time playing through the game. Uh, so it is all about discovery, really. Um, did we miss anything? Or Oh my god, this is just stunning. Like, I am in love with this scenery. Um, oh, here is an item. Pokeball. I'm just taking it all in because this scenery is amazing. What is that? Oh, Wingle! And Magikarp? And is that Buizel? Do I see Buizel? I don't even know how to say it. Um, do these guys... Can I, like... Are they too far away? Oh! Oh, wait, what is happening? I don't understand what's happening. <laughs> Fui Coco just went out on a little thing. Oh, Magikarp. Can I fight you? Can I go in the water? Can I fight you? Oh, okay. Let's catch a Magikarp. It's probably not even worth trying to fight. I'm just gonna throw a ball. Magikarp scales. What are... Wow, okay. Magikarp, fish Pokemon. Uh, an underpowered, pathetic Pokemon. It may jump high on rare occasions, but never more than seven feet. <laughs> Poor Magikarp. It really is useless. Okay, I see a bunch more Pokemon out there. Oh, can I... Oh, you're close. Yes. I was throwing Pokeballs at Pokemon right beside us uh, last time and I realized I did- I do not have to do that. You can just walk up to them. Uh, this is only at level 2, so I think I'll just throw a ball. Um, yeah, you don't have to throw- the throwing a Pokeball to engage a wild battle is only for um, Pokemon that are far away from you, like if they're flying or if they're in a tree, but if it's right next to you, you don't need to do that. I realized that afterwards. <laughs> Alright, so we caught Wingle. I know who Wingle is from Gen 3. Wingle, the seagull Pokemon, it's water and flying. It soars high in the sky, riding on updrafts like a glider. It carries food tucked in its bill. I read that as it carries food trucks. That's not at all what it says. Oh, here's a Buizel! I have no idea if I'm saying that right. Buizel. I'm just gonna say Buizel. All right, let's hit him with a tackle. We can weaken it a little bit. He's gonna use tackle first. Okay, and we caught a Buizel. That Magikarp is waiting for us, it feels like. <laughs> okay, all of these Pokémon are gaining experience. Buizel. Sea Weasel Pokémon. It's a water type. It spins its two tails like a screw to propel itself through the water. The, it's t the tails also slice clinging seaweed. Okay, now I know Buizel is Gen 4, I think. Um, okay, send to the boxes. Okay, I need to organize that. You can keep six Pokemon in your party at once. Any other Pokemon can be sent to your Pokemon boxes for safekeeping. You select your boxes to open them up from there. Choose Pokemon to swap in and out of your current team. So that's great. We don't have to go to the PC to do that like we used to do back in the day. What have we caught? We caught Wingle. We caught Magikarp. Is that like... What is that down there? What is that? Underneath the, the Magikarp that's swimming. What is that? It's a... Uh... It looks like something else, or am I just miss- am I seeing it for something it's not? Yeah, okay, I just hit it. What is it? What is that? Ara- Aracuda? Aracuda? I have no idea whether that's new or not. I've never seen that Pokemon before, so forgive me if it's not Gen 9. Um, maybe let me know, because I've never- I've never seen it. 
Arakuda was caught. Cool. I thought it looked different to everything else. The chunk learned disarming voice. Okay. Arakuda. Rush Pokemon. It's a water type. It's kind of smiling. Aracuda can swim quickly only in a straight line. The ones that become sluggish from overeating are the first to be targeted by flocks of what? Watrell? Watrell? God, I've no idea. Anyways, um, no nickname and we can send you to the box. Okay, cool. It's a new Pokemon for me regardless. I have no idea what gen it's from. Anyways. I think that's everything. We can go in the water slightly, so that's good to know. I don't know if we can... We probably can't go all the way in. Um, okay, so let's move on from this spot. I wanted... I didn't mean to um, catch Pokemon there. That was a... That was an accident. I, did, I didn't think they'd show up <laughs> right there. Um, okay. Oh gosh, this is so gorgeous. I love this so much. Oh, I see an item up here. Another potion. I like that little uh, noise it makes when we pick up the item. Can we go up there? No, we can't climb up there. Um, all right, let's go up this little path, see what's up here. Ah, another item hidden away in here at the end of this little thing. Another Pokeball, okay. Seems like we've covered everything in this area. Don't really know where else we can go, so let's head back up the steps. I really like this beach though. I wish I could go here in real life and it was actually this quiet too. I'd love like a quiet beach. <laughs> Hardly ever happens though. Okay. We did go around the house, didn't we? Did I go around the house? I already don't remember. Maybe not. God, I want to live here. <laughs> <laughs> this is so cool. I think I already did this. I don't remember. Oh, wait. Ooh. Back here. Anything in here? Oh, I see a Pokeball. Another potion. Okay. All right, let's head back to Poco Path um, and continue catching Pokemon on that route. Is it even a route? Do they call them routes anymore? I don't know. Okay, so we're back to Poco Path. Let's continue up. Um, I, w I know Fletchling is here somewhere, just haven't spotted one yet. Um, so we must catch Fletchling and whatever else is in here. Uh, I think I see Pokeball up here on the rock. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, a revive already. Oh, there's another one up here. Oh, what are you? What the hell is this? A scatter bug. Okay, I don't know what that is. If it's new or not, but it's pretty cute. So let's catch it. We're kind of seeing this battle through the tree. It's a little weird. <laughs> it looks a little pixelated, uh, but it's probably just where we're standing, so. And there's the Lechonk patiently waiting. He's like, I'm next. Battle me next. I'm just gonna st I'm gonna form a queue here. I'm just gonna stand in line. <laughs> All right, so we caught the scatterbug. Scatterbug. Scatter dust Pokemon. It's a bug type. Any poison this Pokemon takes in is converted into black powder and secreted. That's why Scatterbug can eat poisonous leaves and roots. Okay. Heading to grab this Pokeball over here. There's loads of stuff like off the beaten path, we'll say. So I'm, I feel like... Yeah, see? More stuff. There's another Scatterbug. So, uh... Definitely do have to check a super potion. Wow, so definitely do have to check all areas, which is just me. Like I feel like I have to, I 
can't leave any stone unturned. It's just how I play Pokemon. I have to talk to every person and make sure every corner is explored. <laughs> Sorry if that drives you crazy, but that is, that's just the way I do it. It's the way I enjoy doing it. Even if it takes me a little longer, I'd, I'd rather just enjoy myself and, and cover all ground. Let me know if you're like that too. I'd, I'd love to know if I'm, am I crazy or yeah, probably don't answer that. <laughs> Here is another Pokeball. A potion. Oh, that looks like another scatterbug. They're so tiny, sometimes it's hard to tell. Um, all right, let's go up here. I see a Pokeball. This looks like a dead end up here, so. What is that shiny thing? Paralyzed heal. What is this? Oh, berries. A Petcha berry. If Pokemon holds one of these. Okay, so that's good to know. We can get berries. That's qu actually quite hard to spot. Um, I see. I see. I see the orange guy. Oh, Palmy. Okay, that's what they're called, and he's at level five. All right, I want, definitely want to catch this thing. I might even use this on a team. I don't know. I mean, it's an electric type, so they're always good to have, and plus it's brand new, so I'm curious. And I'm, I could be wrong. Let me know if I'm wrong. But is this like the Pikachu version of this gen? Every gen has like a, a Pikachu copy or I don't really know what you want to call it but I feel like this looks like it's possibly that um, so I'm curious to use it I want to see what it evolves into and see if it's any good it's the only Pokemon so far where I think I actually want to use in our party so Tarantula learned struggle bug hop hip learned absorb okay cool Palmy, a mouse Pokemon, electric type. It has underdeveloped electric sacs on its cheeks. These sacs can produce electricity only if Palmy rubs them furiously with the pads on its forepaws. That sounds really inconvenient. Okay, I'm gonna add Palmy to the party so we can swap something. Um, I think I'll swap, for now I'll swap, I was gonna swap Magikarp, but um, maybe I'll, I'll swap Wingull for now and I'll explain why in a sec. Oh, there's Pokemon, Pokemon right behind us. Okay, uh, so for Coco, obviously we're gonna keep Palmy. I am going to keep as well. So can we change position? Okay, so. These two at the minute, I would say will be party members that I wanna train. The rest of them, I'm gonna keep in the party for now, but I probably won't, I mean, I'm, I am tempted by Hoppit because I do love Jumpluff, but Jumpluff is a Pokemon that I already know. So I kind of want to, you know, see if we can like discover Gen 9 at its best and, you know, only, not only use new Pokemon. That's kind of what I'm thinking is to possibly only use new Pokemon unless something pops up that I really want to use. Um, so I'm going to keep these in the party for now just to gain experience so that they'll evolve and we can start to fill up the Pokedex and maybe I'll switch some stuff around. I don't want to fill up and have the entire party, you know, what we're going to use for, we'll say, as our actual party Pokemon, if that makes sense. So I'm going to hang on to these guys for now and let them get experience and evolve and we'll probably just switch them out as we go. But these two, I think, will be permanent members for now. Um, so I also forgot to do, I never even looked at the summary. So what I also do, let me know if you guys do this, um, I always rearrange the moves like according to like how many letters, like I put the longest word at the bottom <laughs> and the shortest word at the top. I don't know why. It's just how that looks good. I think it's just how it's just how I, my brain works, how I prefer to do it. I'm probably crazy, um, but yeah, let's continue on. I'm gonna grab this. Lechonk is coming for me. Okay. Let's keep going. I'm still haven't caught that Fletchling because I know that's a Pokemon that I've seen and haven't caught yet. So my mind is on Fletchling, but there's another Palmy. Delighted to have a, a name to the face now, Palmy. Uh, was this a berry? Yes. Cherry berry. Okay, already caught a Hoppip. Scatterbug. Um, okay, what's happening? Hey Erin, you getting the hang of how to catch Pokemon okay? Let me see, so far you've caught... 
Oh, mysterious cry. Whoa, what was that? Go, oh. I've never heard that kind of cry before. Could, could be some strong Pokemon or something. I say we find out whatever made that cry. Let's take a look around, Aaron. Just be careful, there's a kind of unsafe cave not far from here, so steer clear. And I know your Rotom phone can help keep you safe, but watch your step by the cliffs anyway. Okay. All right, find the source of the mysterious cry. Let's grab this. Ether. Uh, it's so hard. Oh, Fletchling, Fletchling, Fletchling sighted. I would love to use Fletchling, but isn't Fletchling either it's fire type or it becomes fire type? I'm not sure. But and we already have a fire type, so I don't really know. I would love. To, I've never used a Fletchling, so um, it's okay. We don't have to decide right now. Oh, it's not fu it's not fire. Fletchling, a tiny robin Pokemon. It's normal and flying. Doesn't it become fire type though when it evolves? I could be wrong about that. This Pokemon is normally calm, but once it enters battle, its hormonal balance changes and it becomes aggressive. That does not look like an aggressive thing. I need to decide what to do about Fletchling. Let's send it in the box for now and I'll look up and see if it becomes a fire type. I'm sure you guys can tell me that because I want to use fetching, but if it becomes fire type, there's no point. That wasn't there a minute ago. Um, I think items respawn. Oh, I see another one up here. Then we'll go towards the, the cry. Two more items up here. My gosh, this game is so addicting. Like it's so hard to stop exploring <laughs> at the same time. Like grabbing items, catching po- look, looking for Pokemon is really addicting for me at least. Like, I... I could do this all day. Was there another item? Did I miss something? I thought... It, oh, I did not mean to do that. The fence is broken here, so it looks like we're supposed to go this way. So let's go this way. Oh, okay, here we go, cutscene. Oh, that's a big drop. <gasps> what is that? Ooh, I see legendary and hound, hound or hound hour or hound or I don't know what they are called. I always said hound, hound or, but I think it's hound hour. They're so adorable. They're like, what is this? Bow wow wow. I really want a hound or. Oh my god, they're so adorable. This is our legendary. Oh, he's aggressive. Uh oh, careful. Whoa! Oh my god, how did that- wait, what? <laughs> how did the phone save us? <laughs> yip yip! Okay, uh, I assume we're just supposed to go check it out? What's your name, buddy? The mysterious Pokemon seems- to be too weak to move. Maybe you can give it something to help perk it up. Oh. You want one of my Pokemon? <laughs> no, just kidding. Um, phone? Sandwich? Are we supposed to give it the sandwich? Let's try. You want my sandwich? Here, take my sandwich. Sniff, sniff. <laughs> nom 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 nom. <laughs> he just ate our sandwich. Oh, yummy. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, I kind of like this guy. He's going into the cave. Or is he? Oh, a jazz. Oh, is he evolving? on two legs now. Come back. Come back. Where are you going? Isn't that the unsafe cave that she said to be careful of? Uh, it wants us to follow it? Yes? Oh wow, okay. Ooh, Inlet Grotto. Okay, I'm kind of a little bit terrified, but also excited. I'm just gonna follow this thing into a really dark cave. Ooh. Pretty green. Oi, Erin! Whoa, how did she spot us from up there? There you are, Erin. You okay? You're not hurt, right? I'm fine. Thank goodness, I was really worried. If you'd gotten hurt because I said we should go looking for whatever made that cry... No, never mind that. Right now we've got to focus on getting you back up here. You've just got to find some way to climb out of there. If you can get close enough, I'll try pulling you up with one of my Pokémon's moves. Okay. Uh, let's grab this. Potion. Hey, what's that Pokemon in front of you? Uh, seems kind of seems like it's waiting for you. Does it want you to follow it? This is really cool. Whoa. Oh, Hound Hours. Where'd they going? That was amazing. That Pokemon might be as strong as mine. Maybe stronger. Oh, okay. I see a Pokemon over here. And some items. What is this guy? A blonde weasel. Oh, he's got teeth. Not like Fue Coco, a young goose. Okay, I'm just he's at level two, so I'm just gonna throw a ball. Young goose. Loitering Pokemon. Uh, normal type, its stomach fills most of its torso. It wanders the same path every day, searching for fresh food. Okay. Right, let's grab this. Pokeball. Uh, let's grab this one too. Oh, it doesn't let me get too close to... Ugh. Potion. It doesn't let me get... It doesn't let me, like, pass him. Oh, Diglett! Diglett, dig! Everything seems to be catching on the first time, so I'm just throwing Pokeballs. Yeah, everything is catching. That's so crazy. I'm not even bothering to weaken it, because there has not been one Pokemon that's broken out yet. Diglett, the mole Pokemon. Ground type. It lives about one yard underground where it feeds on plant roots. It sometimes appears above ground. Do we miss anything else? I feel like I'm missing so many things. I don't know why. Oh! Oh! What? Oh my god! Is that a hound... Houndoom? That's a houndoom. What is that doing up there? That's terrifying. But I want to catch it. <laughs> I wish I could catch it. Can I catch it? Uh, another young goose. And I see an item up there on the left. Let's see if I can... Ah, oh, it's not letting me pass him out. I feel like I'm missing so many things. Is there anything in here? Oh, it's not, let, not letting me walk any further. Okay. 
This green is so pretty. I don't know what it is, but it's pretty. Oh. <gasps> puppies! Evil puppies. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you scared them. I want to catch one. Hey, heads up, some pretty rough and rowdy houndor houndour live down there. They, I'm glad you got your bodyguard, but watch your back, they're strong. Okay, we got a revive. Hopefully we don't need it. Alright. Lead us on, mysterious Pokemon. What's happening? Okay. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it straight up pulverized that rock. How powerful even is it? I wonder what that move was. I want to see it up close. Aaron, look out, something's coming. Behind you, it's behind you. <gasps> Houndoom. I would not like to make that in a cave. Doom! Yeah, that's not terrifying at all. We, oh, we're fighting this thing? We're fi It's at level 40! Are we seriously fighting this thing? Can we throw a ball? Your hands are trembling so badly you can't pull items out of your bag! Are we seriously fighting this thing? Because we do not stand a chance. We're at level 9. Houndoom use crunch. Oh. What's happening? Oh, Fue Coco got scared. I don't blame him. Oh, here come the pups from hell. Wow, there's so many of them. I want to catch one. Oh my gosh. He just picked us up. Hey! Hey! Up here, quick! Oh, that thing rescued us. What are we doing? Are we unconscious? <laughs> Way to go. For a second, I thought you were both goners. Whoa, what's wrong? Maybe it used up all its power. What is this Pokemon anyway? It kind of looks like a cy Cyclozar? Cy I don't know what a Cyclozar is, but I've never seen one quite like this before. And now it looks so different from a minute ago. You think it's okay? Ooh, hard to say. You can't tell either, huh? Well, all that aside, I'm seriously glad to have you back up here in one piece. You know, that battle down there was really something. You and this fella looked perfectly in sync facing that Houndoom. Facing down that Houndoom. What? You didn't even tell it what to do? I guess it's not like you're this Pokemon's trainers yet. Oh good. Looks like it perked up a little. Sandwich is kicking in. Do you think this fella was the one making that mysterious cry we heard before? It's like a- is it cat? Is it a cat? Like park cat? Oh man, oh man, oh man. The more I look at this Pokemon, the more mysterious it seems. If you do become its trainer, you gotta let me battle against it. Let's exchange numbers so we can get in touch if we somehow get separated again. And here, this'll let you teach your Pokemon a move to help it battle stronger opponents. Uh, TM32 Swift. Oh, okay. Starship rays are shot at opposing Pokemon. This attack never misses. Think before you use it though, TMs can only be used once. You've both been through enough for a minute. I think we better take a breather. Let's just get to the lighthouse. That'll be a good spot to relax. Head to the lighthouse. Okay. Well, you know what? This has been 
a long enough for one episode and we did quite a bit already so I think I'm gonna wrap this episode up here and we will continue to the lighthouse in the next one so look forward to that thank you guys so much for watching I really appreciate it leave a like on the video subscribe if you're new and leave me a comment let me know if you're enjoying the series thank you so so much again and I will see you in the next one Slongo fool goodbye